Veterinary technology is a laboratory-oriented career in veterinary science, supports veterinarians and the total veterinary industry to include laboratory-based diagnostic tests, research investigations and vaccine production. We are excited about the new degree, which is now a four-year professional degree, replacing our diploma and the BTEC. This degree uh, articulates straight into a master's degree, which is research-based, and that master's degree then um, articulates into a PhD degree, which is also research-based. And we are excited that with your a master's degree, you can move to any university in the country because we believe now a master's degree is on par with the offerings at other universities. A registered veterinary technologist will have specialized skills in the use of technologies and laboratory techniques to analyze diverse set of samples of animal origin to assist in the diagnosis, prevention, control and treatment of animal diseases. Opportunities that you get as a veterinary technologist is you can do diagnostic work. That means you can work in a laboratory, uh, vet veterinarians that send in their samples they will, send, they will be sending it to you at the laboratory and you then test the samples and you send back the results to the veterinarians and then they will then know how to treat the animals. The second thing that we do as veterinary technologists is we do research. We actually assist in research work. So you have researchers and doctors that are doing research out there on diseases and epidemiology. So what we then do, we assist with the lab work in the research space. Thirdly, we produce our own lab reagents. We also produce vaccines for the health of the animals. And last but not least, you can work in the academic space where you can become a lecturer. The job opportunities available to a veterinary technologist are at research institutes, provincial veterinary laboratories, pharmaceutical companies, private laboratories and laboratory animal centres. The admission requirements is a national senior certificate with an endorsement of a bachelor degree or an equivalent qualification with an achievement level of at least four for English, home language or first additional language, four for life sciences and or agricultural sciences, four for mathematics and four for physical sciences a minimum total APS score of 24 is achieved for the four required subjects and the two additional subjects combined. I'm Susan West and I'm a lecturer on campus at TUT. We train the veterinary technology students in different disciplines in our veterinary skills laboratory, parasitology, molecular biology, serology and bacteriology. The veterinary technology program includes a lot of compulsory practicals where the students need to practice the skills which is all hands-on. It may be on campus as well as with the collaborators in industry. There are also a practical exam throughout from the second year until the fourth year which is called the OSPI exam. From your first year until your last year, you have to be registered with the SAVC, that's the South African Veterinary Council, as a student. Once you start working, you have to be registered as a veterinary technologist, a full-time worker. Only registered veterinary technologists are allowed to work in veterinary labs. Qualified veterinary technologists and veterinary technology students can also register with the South African Association of Veterinary Technologists. The SAAVT is the only professional body representing the interest of veterinary technology professionals at the South African Veterinary Council. 
The highlights of the school students at TUT would be their final two years. I mean, all of them, they look forward because then it includes a lot of excursions, uh, a lot of community-based learning. We have a bus that we use and do community service work. Going to the industry, they get to actually see how the lab works and the advantages and disadvantages of actually being in the lab, and they enjoy that very much. Veterinary Technology Program forms part of the Biomedical Sciences Department and that is from the Faculty of Sciences. It is located at the Arcadia campus which is situated right in the centre of Pretoria. It's easily accessible from students all around Pretoria. Uh, others from Sochanguve can also use the TUT buses to get to school. There is a limit to, uh, to the number of students we can take a year and uh, because of two reasons. One, we service a very small industry. There are fewer labs that can accept our graduates, so we can't oversupply because the demand is lower. Number two, the facilities at TUT can only accept 30 students a year, and that means there's competition for spaces, which is why we take the best of the crop from high school.